Hello, this is Roseanne Vitale, and I will be covering the basic features of the microtome that we have in our laboratory, how to use it, and um, what you will need to do for the lab. So the first thing you need to do is unlock um, the stop button here. So you basically lift it up, pull it towards yourself. Additionally, there is a lever at the bottom that needs to be pushed down. This also unlocks the machine. Over on the left-hand side here, at the top, you can see I am tapping a button. What this button does is switch between the trim feature, which is when you're facing the block, and the feed feature, which is when you're actually taking your section. So those are um, the main two settings that you'll switch between. So when you first start facing your block, again, you'll start on trim, which in this case is 20 microns, and then feed, when you're actually taking your ribbon, will be on four. We have allowed our block to cool, and you can see it is now in our plastic mold. You go ahead and remove the cassette block from that, and you can see our tissue here. So in this example, you can see black ink. So we are cutting into the true margin of the specimen, which is a tube. Again, this is an on-end specimen and also on fast because we're cutting into the true margin. Another feature that you need to be mindful of here is this, um, blade cover. So you want to make sure that anytime you're interacting with any of the features here in this machine that the blade cover is covering the blade so that um, you are not putting yourself at risk to cut yourself. I am going to place this block in here um, into the cassette block holder. However, I need to make sure that the drive wheel, which is located over here, is locked. So I'm going to go ahead and press the stop. I'm also going to use the secondary lever and really make sure that everything is locked and double check it prior to placing my block in the holder. So you can see there's a beveled edge here and a flat edge. So the flat edge goes on the bottom and the beveled edge goes on the top. And then I basically um, slide the block in there and make sure it's held tightly. Um, so once I have done that, I want to look at where the block is in relationship to the blade and make sure I'm not too far forward with the um, specimen holder, um, chuck holder here versus the blade. So I'm going to look and I think we might be okay. So what I'm going to do is then unlock and make sure I'm on trim. But before I fully do a rotation, I'm just going to bring the block kind of down here. And I can see I have a great amount of distance. Um, between the blade and the specimen block. So what I'm going to do is the second wheel over here on the left, this middle wheel, actually helps bring the paraffin block closer to the blade. You don't want to go overcompensate, but you do want to get it kind of close so you're not wasting time. Oh, I got a little close, so now I'm going to back it up. And we're, we're just about there. So again, I'm on 20 microns, which is my trim setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and start rotating. Um, one thing that you can do is tap this machine and it actually brings it forward. So we'll wait till I get a little closer. Just rotate it forward. And once your block comes into contact with the blade, you no longer want to advance the block because if you start pressing the button or rotating, what you can start doing is taking large chunks of tissue out of the block and you don't want to do that. So I'm starting to face the block. Um, let me just get some force up so you can start to see um, small pieces of tissue here. There's a little black right there. I haven't fully faced the tissue yet. So you're seeing a little bit of the ink on the bottom, but we haven't gotten a full ring. So you want to make sure that you fully face the tissue. Now, if there's a situation where you're, you know, trying to get a true margin or things like that, all those things will be taken into consideration if the histotech actually takes some of these sections prior to, um, you know, making a full face. That's not what you need to be concerned about today. What I want you guys to focus on is just what it looks like when the block is fully faced and how to pick up the tissue. So I'm gonna just keep rotating. 
So again, no concepts here as far as like fully facing or margin status or anything like that. I'm just talking about what to do, how to fully face the block and what it should look like. So I believe I'm at a point now where I, let's see, I'm gonna switch over now to feed, which is the four micron setting. So you wanna take a couple rotations at that setting to kind of smooth everything out. And now I'm going to wipe away the old paraffin ribbons. And here we go. Hopefully I can get a good ribbon for you guys. Let's see. It's kind of warm back here, so. Give it a shot, keep going. Okay, so as you can see, I'm starting to get um, sections here on my ribbon. So what I'm going to do is use my forceps to lift the ribbon and place it into the water bath. Okay, so what you can see here is a portion of the ribbon that I previously cut that is floating in the water bath. So what you wanna do is take your slide and um, identify which side is frosted versus not. Um, usually you can see an interruption of the light. If you hold it up to the light, the side that's frosted will be kind of dull and matte versus the side that's not frosted will be, you'll see the light all the way across it and it will be shiny. So you want the frosted um, part up facing you and you can kind of feel it with your thumb, it's a little rougher. So what I'm gonna do is basically take my slide and go underneath um, the ribbon and try to catch it on my slide. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So you just kind of float it on there. Notice mine isn't perfectly straight. Again, we're not trying to um, do things exactly like you should. If you're a histotech, just practice the concept and understand how it works. From this point, the slide will then sit in an oven and the paraffin wax that is excess will melt away and then the tissue can be stained using a paraffin um, embedded tissue protocol. So um, you will then stain a slide and follow the steps that are listed for you there. So we hope you have enjoyed this video and look forward to working with you in lab to complete these steps.